Life in Australia is so expensive, whether it's petrol prices, groceries, childcare, unaffordable housing, even with those price drops, your electricity bills, you name it, households are hemorrhaging money. And the big problem is that wages haven't really increased for five or more years now. Uh, so we're spending more and, and not earning any more. It's a big problem and, and housing affordability is gonna be a major issue in this election. So what are the major parties proposing? Well, the big one is tax cuts. Scott Morrison's government wants to give you about a thousand bucks back a year. Uh, four and a half million Australians will benefit from that and another five million will have some form of tax relief depending on what they earn. Uh, Labor will match that, but they'll also extend it to low paid Australians earning $40,000 or less who would otherwise miss out. Energy costs is a really big issue. Power bills are through the roof for most Australians. Labor wants to invest substantially in renewable energy, which it says over the long term will reduce people's power bills. Also wants to give a $2,000 cash back for people who put solar panels on their roof, which they say will produce more free energy from the sun uh, and cost them less from uh, drawing from the grid. The Liberals uh, want to give a one-off $125 payment to pensioners and carers and other low-income Australians. Um, that's kind of about it, really. They say that they're focusing on putting pressure on energy companies to give discounts and offer a better deal. But really the big ticket policy is Labor's plan to increase the minimum wage. They haven't said how much, but they've promised that it will be significant and that will benefit some of the lowest earning Australians. The coalition isn't really saying much on minimum wage. They're happy to leave it to the productivity commission as to how much it goes up each year. Uh, cost of living will be one of the biggest issues this election and we can guarantee that both parties will offer more sweeteners as we get closer to polling day.